So, <laughs> you know how we got that bus scheduled for today? Well, I don't think we're gonna make it. <laughs> you know, I don't know what it is, but like, nobody can ever find where I'm staying, dog. Like, it's a normal street, like any other street. They don't get it. It's like, how do you not get it? It even says in your language where it's at. <laughs> yeah, so like I ordered a bike on Grab earlier and the dude just gave up. <laughs> he was sitting there for like literally like 10 minutes when he accepted it. And then uh, he came, he finally did start coming down my way. He got to like one end of the alley and it's like it's a long alley you know so I couldn't even see him and then he gave up I was like what the hell dude uh, in the meantime I'm gonna go back to my place I think <laughs> okay <laughs> you hear so many weird noises outside this place I'm telling you I don't know what they're doing, they're like crucifying cats, like what is going on? Alright, so plan B is, uh, <laughs> we gave up on going to Canterbury, but we're going to, um, Uh, there's one market and park um, in the north part of the central city um, that I already forgot the name of, but yeah. <laughs> you know, if you like chicken, this is the place for you, dog. Like, let me just say, there's chicken all over the place and it's all good. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, so uh, we just had to withdraw some more money from the ATM. Probably a good time to talk about uh, the how much money I've been spending and you could probably easily survive here on basically like I don't know five to ten dollars a day <laughs> like you really don't need that much money but I'll tell you where my expenses have been coming from and that is pretty much uh, going out like to the bars and stuff like that because you know even though the drink only costs like 100 baht for like a pint of uh, chain or whatever eventually <laughs> the 100 baht turns into a thousand baht and then that's like 28 bucks right there and then maybe it turns into another thousand baht so that's another 60 bucks and so you can imagine if like you're <laughs> dropping that and you already dropped like maybe a thousand baht on like random knickknacks during the day then then you've just spent like a over a hundred dollars at some point and so yeah, that, that's where it kind of gets you. <laughs> and then going to tourist spots, you know, kind of uh, big ones right there. Like, I mean, it's not that much of a big deal, like 500 baht to go see Waka Ruins or something. But, um, <laughs> them motorcycles be everywhere, dog. But yeah, I don't know. It, you can spend as much as you want to spend, basically. So. If you have good self-restraint, you can easily, like, not spend a lot of money. Unlike me. <laughs> and speaking of spending money, I bought this. And, uh, I'm not sure what it is. I've never seen it before, but it kind of looks like an energy drink. So, let's try it out. That is pretty good. <laughs> it's like peach flavored. Um, yeah, weird. It's got, I think that's Japanese on that side, and then Thai on that side. Yeah, I rate this uh, 9 out of 10. <laughs> pretty good, dog. So yeah, uh, I think it's Chatu Chak Park where we're heading to, by the way. So one thing that, um, it's interesting to me about the subway and MRT system in general is how deep we are underground. 
like I think we're about two to three stories underground right now <laughs> and yet there's still service it's crazy like some other cities you go to and then you go just like a couple feet underground and then oh no more service whoa crazy <laughs> but here yeah we're like really deep dog it's crazy Yeah, so, pretty tranquil park, you know? No lizards, though. Sad. <laughs> there were some big fish in the uh, water over there, but I'm um, not sure what they are. They look kind of like catfish to me, but they didn't really come up that much. One thing we got a lot of in this place, though, is um, Instagrammers and TikTokers and other social media types. <laughs> Yep. Including myself, apparently. Hell yeah. We've wandered into a slightly more wild and untamed park next door. The birds, the bees, and the butterflies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll let them do their business. I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> I've seen it in a few places. It looks like a squirrel. Pretty sure it's a squirrel, but like... That is a weird looking squirrel dog. It's like a mouse. Me, come on. It is crazy how like we are in the middle of the city right now but you can't tell. <laughs> it's so isolated and peaceful out here. It's just wild and beautiful too. Like look at that. Crazy.
I was hoping we'd find some snakes, but I have not seen any snakes. <laughs> Bummer. I guess if you want pets, then this is the place to be. <laughs> Lots of pets and pet stuff from these parts. Some of you might object to seeing all the animals in the cages, and believe me, I'm there with you, dog, but at the same time, I can kind of get it because it makes me want to buy them, doesn't it? <laughs> You're going to rescue them from their little 
oppressive cages in prison. I mean, if an animal is like being well kept, you don't really feel a need to rescue them now, do you? Big brain. Much wow. thing I'm sure you've realized by now is that Thailand is a place where there's stores that have things in them <laughs> unlike America you know like America is like if you want something it's not gonna be in the store it's gonna be online and then you gotta go and even go out like you have no reason to go out <laughs> it's crazy but here if you want the most niche object you can think of like a lizard you know, a specific kind of lizard. It'll be in a store somewhere. Or like this. Literally just random types of cactuses. <laughs> it's crazy. I love it though. It's cool. Ultra nerd alert. <laughs> oh, well, G.I. Joe's. I've had some of these dudes, I think. <laughs> wow, cool. I just called myself out because now I'm like nerding out over this stuff like I had that dude right there. <laughs> Amazing. Talk about, you know, wasn't I just saying you find the most niche things that you never would expect to see? And here we are. Ultra niche things. Like... All these weebs. There you go. Well, some of this stuff. A little, little, little sketchy to show. <laughs> that is pretty funny though. Like, I never thought I would see some of these figures ever again. Like that one, I had that one. And I had that one. <laughs> and uh, just, you know, here they are. Crazy. Yeah, so we didn't even enter the market, we already succumbed to one food item. <laughs> 60 baht for those two things, but definitely worth it, I'd say. Very cool, interesting, and different. However, I thought there would be more like food stuff <laughs> there. But it's mostly like clothes and clothes accessories and stuff like that. So, yeah, now we're going someplace else. Let's go. There was a kid on the uh, subway just now that was like bawling his eyes out, like <laughs> probably like three years old. Oh man, like he was lacking, like he was being murdered. Skinned alive, I tell you. Wait till he finds out about debt and taxes. <laughs> so yeah, we are now headed to another market. <laughs> you may have seen this one in other videos of Thailand. It's called Jod Fairs. Um, yeah, this is where I've seen a lot of like scorpion videos come from. Maybe I'll have another one. Who knows? Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see, dog. Uh, 
I think they should have more food stuff here though, and that's kind of what I'm into. So let's go see. purchases that was one of those things that I didn't think I needed until I saw it. Check that group out. <laughs> I mean, how could you not? Like, I think it was like 20 or something. Like, holy oh, yeah, god, dude, I'm gonna get that. Hell yeah. It's one of those uh, crowd crush moments. <laughs> A lot of dudes, dog. <laughs> it is packed out here. Well, there you go. That is God Fairs. That's definitely the best market I've been to since I've been here. <laughs> Lots of food, lots of really good food. I wish I had space to eat it all, but you know, can only pack so much in the gut. So yeah, I think that'll be it for tonight. as we uh, enter the alley where I live that apparently nobody can find, including myself. 
because I walked down the wrong alley just a second ago. I was like, this looks, this is way too lit for my alley. Like, there's music going off and shit. <laughs> but anyway, um, little things I've noticed is that, uh, little knickknacks, is that, um, like for example, these steps going up and down things, all the steps, they're just a little bit too short for my feet. You know, and it makes me think, you know, it's because Asians, <laughs> smaller feet, you know, crazy. And then, let's see. and then how there's like 7-Elevens, like literally everywhere, dude, like <laughs> there are so many 7-Elevens. It's like, you might think maybe I need to get something now so that I'll have it later, like like beer or something, you know? They do sell beer at 7-Eleven, hell yeah. And it's like good beer. This is the local stuff, by the way. Chang, I am a huge fan. <laughs> it's really good, it's nice and light amber. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh, 7-Eleven, so yeah, like there's 7-Elevens like literally everywhere, dude. Like, <laughs> I want to get an actual like count on how many there are because Damn, dude, there are so many. 7-Eleven has an absolute grip on this place, man. Like, ain't nobody can touch it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I feel like if someone was to come in here trying to knock off 7-Eleven, top of the food chain, they'd be like, smite, <laughs> get the hell out of here. This is our territory, dog. Uh, what else have I noticed? Um, they do not have change. I mean, they do have change, like, like this, but, like, it is their, like, dollars, you know, like, bot. There's no stupid, like, pennies or nickels type of thing going on here, like, and that is great. I, I've always said, <laughs> you know, what is America doing with pennies and nickels and just round it up, dog, round it up, make everything a dollar or more, you know, like, nothing under a dollar, like, especially now with inflation being what it is, why include any sense in anything? It makes no sense, <laughs> dare I say. Like, I was wondering, like, I, I paid this one guy for something, and then he gave me change, and then I paid the change to uh, somebody else for something else, and it, I just was thinking, like, that, that, money it stayed in the same exact part of town <laughs> and i was wondering you know like i wonder how much of that happens like how much of the the money just stays in one part of town because you know these guys pay those guys and those guys pay these guys and they all live in the same area <laughs> you know it's like i sell the tires and you sell the food and then Eventually you want a tire and eventually I want the food, you know, it's just like a, a circular thing. Like, I feel like you could live here for, uh, you know, your whole life, basically. Like, theoretically, you could live your whole life and not even leave a single block, basically. Because <laughs> there could be enough stuff on it that you wouldn't even need to leave the block. <laughs> Blows my mind. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like this, I suppose, in places like New York City, you know, where there is stuff like that. But even then, you know, it's kind of not, you know, because there's still stuff that you need that's not on the block. Whereas here, it's like there could be a bike shop, the food, the tires for the bikes, the, the um, mechanics for the bikes, uh, clothes, um, whatever, you know, it's all on the same street. You wouldn't even need to leave the street. <laughs> you wouldn't even need the bike, almost, you know? <laughs> but, I mean, maybe you want to, like, leave the street for once in your life. Crazy. Like, <laughs> it's it's really amazing. It, it kind of is, like, on some level, if once you've been around all of Bangkok, like, I feel like I have at this point. Not all of Bangkok, but I've seen, like, quite a lot of it at this point. And it's kind of the same thing in a lot of different places. Like, aside from, like, the really big monuments, you know, like, um, 
lot of ruin and the grand palace and all that stuff like the landmark locations uh there really isn't <laughs> a lot that's different you know like the same food stands literally the same ones <laughs> it's almost like like do they go to like a central hub where they sell these exact same food stands like do they work for somebody or do they buy it from them and then they own it and then that's it i don't know be interesting to find out but <laughs> like literally i'm telling you it's like copy pasta the exact same food stands and the same uh stuff on them in different spots so <laughs> it's kind of like like a food chain almost you know like like uh like arby's or mcdonald's like you would find the exact same stuff in different places well it's like that but with food stands you know <laughs> interesting very fascinating to me uh but yeah <laughs> that's enough rambling for now uh, i've just filmed five minutes of me just rambling on and on <laughs> i'll leave you guys be and then tomorrow's my last day so i don't know what we're gonna do but i haven't known what we're gonna do this whole time <laughs> so hell yeah peace